All right, folks, it's 2021 and Elon Musk is putting cyborg implants into monkeys' brains. Apologies to anyone who is hoping this would be a more normal year than the last one because we are only getting weirder from here. All joking aside, Neuralink is already shaping up to be the most significant invention of the 21st century. Bigger than the iPhone, bigger than the electric car, this could be the first step towards a technological renaissance that pushes humanity into a golden age. Or this is literally the rise of the planet of the apes. It's still early days and could go either way. Hey Elonites, welcome to the Tesla space where we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk. You're probably already aware that Neuralink is a company that was founded by eccentric billionaire and meme lord Elon Musk, and they make digital implants that are currently going into the skulls of various animal test subjects. The implants allow for a direct wireless interface between the animal's brain and a computer. Elon calls it a Fitbit in your skull, and eventually, possibly even this year, the Neuralink will be going into human beings. We know that this is a project that Elon has been working on for some time now. The company was founded in 2016 by Musk and a group of eight partners who are experts in fields like neurosurgery, electrical engineering, and neurotechnology. For years, all we really knew about this company was that they were working on some kind of a computer chip implant for the brain that could do everything from healing neurological diseases like Parkinson's to allowing people to interface with computers and AI technology. And it wasn't until the past year that we really started to get a steady stream of information coming out of Neuralink and got to see what they were actually up to. And that flow of new updates is coming stronger than ever in 2021, with Elon sending out tweets to recruit new employees into Neuralink and talking candidly about his cyborg monkey facility in a clubhouse interview. It's as good a time as any to catch up on all things Neuralink because this is a company that we are going to be hearing about a lot over the coming months. And make sure to drop a like on this video for the brave monkeys who have unwillingly given their bodies over to science. Obviously, we are going to have to wait a while until Neuralink will turn us into all-knowing beings who no longer have any need for news. But in the meantime, that brings me to today's sponsor, Morning Brew. Morning Brew is a free daily newsletter that gets you up to speed on business, finance, and tech news in just five minutes. I've actually been subscribed to Morning Brew for about five months now, so this is pretty awesome to be working with them. And what I love about the newsletter is you get a bunch of relevant stories in a short, condensed package. Instead of wasting half an hour every day jumping between apps and scrolling through feeds, I get everything I need from Morning Brew in just five minutes. And time is money, folks. And with all this time on your hands now, you would think the Morning Brew newsletter would cost money, but it's absolutely free. So if you're tired of the mainstream media's train wreck coverage on Wall Street Bets and GameStop, I highly suggest you subscribe to Morning Brew. I've been following along with their updates and coverage has been spot on. There's no reason not to subscribe to Morning Brew if you're interested in business, finance, or tech. It's completely free and takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe. So click the link in the description below to subscribe to Morning Brew today. But let's get back to Neuralink. Elon's most revealing Neuralink conversation to date came on the Good Time show in early February. That's a technology podcast on the invite-only Clubhouse app. During the interview, Elon dropped some crazy new info about what he was up to with these brain implants and where they are heading with the technology. Of course, there's the cyborg monkey. Elon told the Good Time show that he has a Neuralink implanted monkey that can play video games with its mind. No controller needed. The monkey plays Pong with brainwaves alone. I'm just gonna pause and let that sink in. Elon went on to say that the monkey is very happy. He hasn't been disfigured in any way. They just had to give him a bit of a weird haircut. Apparently a USDA inspector came in to check on the situation and said that this was the nicest monkey facility she had ever seen in her entire career. 
according to Elon at least. We have to take him on his word for now. Because aside from that monkey inspector, no one has gotten a look at the latest Neuralink testing. The last we saw was in summer of 2020 when Neuralink brought out a small herd of pigs that had received the implants. It was a pretty simple demonstration. Basically, the Neuralink was receiving nerve signals from the pig's nose, and every time the snout touched something, the Neuralink would send signals to a computer, which would in turn make a kind of beeping noise and chart the activity on a graph. It was a neat demo, but not exactly anything breathtaking to witness. Obviously, the two monkeys playing Pong with their minds is going to be a real showstopper, but the pig demo was important in proving that the Neuralink can be safely implanted and removed without killing or crippling the animal. That's obviously something they have to get nailed down before human testing can even be considered. The implant process isn't super invasive, but it does require a hole being drilled in the skull and tiny wires connected into the brain. Luckily, the method for installing is almost as genius as the product itself. Elon based the idea for Neuralink's physical connection on the science fiction concept of the neural lace, which comes from a series of books that he likes. The idea was basically for a digital layer that could sit above the brain and would not require extensive surgery to insert. Neuralink achieved that concept by using a sewing machine-like robot to install the implant. After drilling a hole in the skull so that the implant sits flush with the subject's head, the robot will stitch a series of tiny flexible probes into the subject's brain. Each probe contains 48 to 96 wires, and each wire contains 32 electrodes. The machine is capable of inserting up to six probes per minute. The speed that this all happens and the flexible, thread-like nature of the probes is what makes this all possible. In previous experiments where rigid probes were inserted into the brain, the body will instantly recognize them as unknown material and generate tissue to push them out. Neuralink has found that when flexible probes are rapidly inserted, it actually minimizes trauma to the brain that can trigger the bounce back reaction. Now that's a lot of science, I know, don't worry, that's about as deep as we're getting into the nerdy stuff. Drop a like on this video if you're still following me. Hopefully I got that mostly right, but basically this robot is what makes Neuralink safe. It's a fully automated procedure that takes human error out of the equation. Elon has also said that safety is his first priority in all of this, and that's the same approach he takes with his Tesla vehicles. At the Neuralink presentation with the pigs, Elon talked about how with cars, it is technically legal to ship a vehicle with a one-star safety rating, but Tesla choose to only make cars that are five stars in every category. The same standard will apply to Neuralink. They are working with the FDA to not only meet the guidelines for safety, but to far exceed all the requirements. Now that we know how a Neuralink works, we can get back to what can a Neuralink actually do. And that's a concept that is always evolving every time that Elon speaks about it. In the beginning, the application of the brain machine interface in the short term was to treat serious brain diseases with the eventual goal of human enhancement, sometimes called transhumanism. Elon himself once described Neuralink's project overall as helping to achieve symbiosis with artificial intelligence. We know that treating neurological disease and injury is still top of mind for Neuralink, and we know that could be heading in the direction of clinical trials starting later this year. We got this information from a Twitter exchange that Elon had with a man who was paralyzed from the shoulder down due to a car accident and was hopeful about participating in studies with Neuralink. In his Clubhouse interview, Elon gave us an idea of what Neuralink could actually do for a person in this kind of situation. In the short term, the implant wouldn't be able to give him back control of his body, but it could help to make up for his lost capacity by enabling a person to control an electronic device with their mind. Anyone with a Neuralink will be able to interface with a smartphone just by thinking, completely eliminating the keyboard, mouse, and touchscreen from the equation. 
Elon says that people are in effect already cyborgs because they have a tertiary digital layer thanks to phones, computers, and applications. Elon said that with a direct neural interface, we can improve the bandwidth between your cortex and your digital tertiary layer by many orders of magnitude, increasing the speed at which people can interact with technology by 1,000 to even 10,000 times faster. And in the long term, that connection could expand from your smartphone to allow you to connect directly with other people's brains. Now, this is where shit gets really weird. In theory, two people with Neuralinks could communicate ideas telepathically, and it would be an instant transfer of information. Your brain wouldn't have to waste time compressing an idea into words and speaking, the person on the receiving end wouldn't have to decompress your words into their own brain as an idea. The idea would just transfer instantly, like airdropping a photo from your phone to your laptop, except brain to brain. When you apply that concept to human learning, it means we could just transfer the information straight to your memory. You wouldn't need to read a book or watch a YouTube video, everything would just be there in your mind. The scene in the Matrix where Neo learns Kung Fu in 30 seconds, that's basically it, but in real life. I know Kung Fu. And as if that wasn't crazy enough, Elon went on to say in that same interview that the Neuralink could hold as a saved state of a person's mind after they have died. A backup drive for your non-physical being, your digital soul. It's nuts. We could have something like that Black Mirror episode where everyone gets uploaded to a digital afterlife server when their body dies. Elon even said that we could end up with an altered carbon level situation where your digital self could be implanted into another human body. They could even put your Neuralink into a robot and you would become that robot. Long story short, we all better get used to Elon Musk being around because he's on track to become the first digital immortal. So how's everybody feeling about Neuralink these days? Exciting? Terrifying? Would you line up to get one in your own brain? Let's talk about it in the comment section below. Quick reminder, be sure to check out Morning Brew. Again, we have a link down below in the description. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it, and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.